Hey, good people. <laughs> we just uh, planted off-season maize. And, uh, our plan here is just to plant for the sake of selling as uh, uh, fresh maize. So I'm doing it off-season. Normally the season here is March, September. But um, I, I'm, I've just done after people harvesting. So I'm doing uh, August, we've done August, February. So by February there about, I should be harvesting. Um, I'm doing it off season reason. You know, the prices of uh, maize right now is, is high. So you can uh, actually search, we expect to search something good. And um, one thing I've just learned in this piece of land, here I had planted peas. So I had peas in this, it's, it's, it's almost an echo there about. So um, I had planted peas here. And uh, after harvesting peas immediately, we didn't, uh, we, we didn't plow. So what I did, uh, I just sprayed with the herbicides the renowned glyphosate any glyphosate works um so um after spraying it we just made uh, we planted direct with a normal fertilizer the dap despite the prices um so this maize now is uh this is 662 13 variety so it's a six series but now i planted on uh August and uh, this is um, um, I, I actually early August so this is uh, October as I take this video it's October that is two months um, for me I think uh, this is a tremendous growth reason um, you barely find maize at this height in two months yes, you barely find a two months. Um, giving another month, I should be expecting a, a very, very tremendous uh, changes. So, in a month's time, I should, they should start tussling. Eh? So, um, that is not our norm here in our region. Two months and uh, it has grown tall fast there is tremendous growth yeah i attribute this to the fact that we didn't uh, interfere with the soil uh, the soil and then um, whatever we place the fertilizer and that is that is the science behind the zero tillage wherever we place the fertilizer the mob the um, the mobility of fertilizer within the soil is not um, fast. So, in short, leaching process is withheld or is slowed down by um, the soil, which are not soft. So, so the, it's another it's another thing to make sure that your soil is is soft enough, and it's also another thing. To ensure that the concentration of fertilizer is within the root zone of the plant um, and I think that has been the explanation behind the zero tillage and uh, most crop most crops you find when you do zero tillage they tend to do best until that point where now the soil clothes are hard and the soil cannot and the root crops or plants cannot penetrate more so that does now you need uh, uh, a breaker, soil breaker to break your soil. But as long as um, you you have not done zero tillage more than three times, you are still within the bracket of successful farming. So um, in this case, um, we just planted without plowing, and then um, yeah, we we having good uh, we having good. Uh, we're having good progress and then um, after now after after uh, we did after a period of three weeks we did now no a period of one month we did the uh, weeding 
so general weeding the fast weeding and um just to ensure that um, the weeds are controlled effectively you see sometimes some uh, so, some there's some remains when they we do the herbicides um so we just ensure that we eradicate it's just a method of ensuring that we eradicate weeds at best um and also now that is a period we are starting to open up the soil as well for for aeration so and then um, that's it the whole video is essentially reminding us on the importance of uh, zero tillage zero tillage without replanting just without uh, plowing uh, your soil it has important uh, features it always has it is of importance because um, it concentrates your fertilizer in the root zone of the plant hope you learned something uh, remember to subscribe thanks for watching